you know, not too long ago, I made a video talking about, you know, some pastors what I really don't like. But I feel like God put all pastors in place to guide the people to the cross the best way they can. Whatever it takes. But last night, well, when I said this uh, video last week, I say I... I don't care about women pastors talking about prosperity because, hey, there's a lot of single women out here. And that's the man's fault. <laughs> I don't care what y'all say. Y'all be listening to y'all homeboys a lot. <laughs> and y'all care about what everybody else thinks. But anyway, that's a whole nother video. But I say men pastors kind of rubbed me the wrong way. And then when I woke up the next morning, that day, and I turned on my TV, sometimes I turn on my TV to get my butt up out of bed because I don't like sleeping with noise. Um, George Myers was talking about the prosperity gospel. And that kind of made me change my mind what she said. So I was like, uh, let me just leave that alone. So that's why I came up right now and say, hey, God put everybody. Because everybody I read in the Bible that God made to guide people was different. <laughs> you know? You know, and a lot of them didn't want to do it. So, yeah, whatever to get the people to the cross. But last night, what I read, it, from Jesus' mouth, not from Peter and Paul's mouth and Matthew's mouth and nobody else's mouth, but Jesus Christ's mouth is, when he made these disciples, <laughs> it's in Matthew, y'all can go look it up. You know, even though I, uh, I read the New Testament and not the, uh, the New Living Translation, and I don't read the King James. I do read it, but it's kind of hard for me to um, comprehend, I would say. <laughs> so it's all the same. It's just different wording. But what he told the disciples is, don't take no money, don't take no coins, don't take nothing. The only thing he told them people to take is hospitality. And you know what the hospitality is? Good service. Like if somebody offered to cook for you or offer for you somewhere to stay. But he said, don't take nothing. He said, I send you out in the world to cast out devils, to cast, to heal people, to um, help people. I don't know if he said help, but I know he said the uh, first two I just named. Yeah, yeah. And that's why I just like, it's just something about it. But at the same time, I know that everybody I watch and everybody I post, they either growing into the past that they should be or they already there. I don't want to name drop because there's a lot I watch and I, 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 I put on here. But some of them is growing. They in their baby stages and some of them is already there. But whatever they do to get the people to the cross, boom. But this is what I have to say. Why constantly teach prosperity when you know some people need to cleanse their heart? They can easily go listen to a motivational speaker or a guru to teach them how to um, build their money. Because I can name drop them. I listen to Gary Vee. You listen to Gary Vee, guess what? Gary V tell it to you real and raw. Dana Panna. Yeah, Dana Panna. Y'all want to learn how to make some money on not no weak fluff? That's who I would suggest. And another thing, Robert Kiyosaki book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I love that book. I read that book. And I got this um, kid version for my son. But Thinking about me reading this whole Bible, and I'm right at Matthew now. I read the whole Old Testament, word for word, book to book, page to page. Is God getting mad because people worshiping other idols? And that's how the, you know, that's how I feel like some of the um, motivational and the teaching of the gospel can get construed it can get tangled up into the real message. God don't want you worshiping any other idols. You know? I saw this time and time again. You know, I don't mean to talk about my mom like that, but I'm just making her as an example. I mean, my grandma used to pray heavy. That's her baby. 
And I know my grandma prayers work for her. It worked for all of us, to tell you the truth. But as soon as she out of probation or whatever, she going back to the streets. And that's not right. That's not right at all. I mean, it's God wanted us to change our heart, mind, and soul to be obeying him. That's his number one commandment in the Bible. And the second one is to love one another. The second is we have to love one another. I mean, one of the chapters in the Bible that I read last night that made me think about saying all of this, what I'm saying right now, is the one that I just said. He said, do not take anything. Just go out there and heal and help people. And the second one was, I forgot. I hope I copied it, but I forgot, but it may come to me. (laughs) Yeah, because you know you need to heal people. The Pharisees was rich. The Gentiles was rich. (laughs) The people was rich. And I feel like if you preach that more than preaching love and preaching to obey him, that's what you're creating. <laughs> you know, once you love, once you do the right thing, all of the money, prosperity will fall into place. You know, I'm a living testament of that. Once I start doing the right thing, cleaning up myself, stuff starts just falling into place. Worship of God, it just all falls into place. But we go out there and think we right. We don't want to hear nobody. We don't want to love nobody. <laughs> We hate everybody. <laughs> we judge everybody. <laughs> we talk about everything. We think we superior. <laughs> we controlling. I mean, come on. That's what you get. And yeah, this is another uh, scripture he said. He said, if it was plentiful, if we were doing good, you would have a lot of helpers. That's in Matthew 2. Y'all got to read the whole book. Right now I'm at the 8th chapter. Word for word. He said you would have a lot of helpers if we was there. That means you would have a lot of volunteers. Because <laughs> that's what the, the, the other scripture I just dropped. It came right before this scripture. That means you would have a lot of volunteers. That's why I don't understand how the church can be paying folks. Because y'all could be paying the wrong folks. People do anything for some money. <laughs> but, you know, God was all about service. These people are supposed to be doing this for God. Be supposed to be worshiping God, serving God. You know? You can tip them. You can help them. But a W-2, I don't know about all that. Except, I think... Except them schools, like the ones that have schools and stuff. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about ushers and deacons. <laughs> Even the cameraman. Yeah, I'm talking about them folks. But anyways, yeah, I mean, that's what you get. You, I can't tell y'all what to do, and I can't tell y'all what to do, but this is just my point of view and my thoughts. My thoughts. You're not going to see no change because... If you're not preaching love, if you're not preaching doing the right thing, if you're not preaching the Ten Commandments, because if you cannot steal, kill, honor, dishonor mother and father, but you shouldn't, I don't think it, even in the Bible I saw a verse, so you can't follow their sins either. So I gave as much as respect, a lot of respect. But I don't know, God, please. <laughs> but anyway, that's, these are just my thoughts. Do whatever you got to do to get people to this cross. But love is always first. And love hurts so good. People think all oh, love is butterflies. But no, love is telling, confronting somebody in the nicest way. And telling them the truth. Even if it hurts. For real. But that's just my thoughts. This is all out of love, light, and just, hey, maybe I'm wrong. Let me know with a scripture in my comments, like I always say. Because I don't want to hear nobody's opinions. 